This is definitely one of my coolest, most calming and quick watercolor art journals. Flip through and process. Hi everybody, it's Asia Marke here, Lemon Creation. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the really, really cool, really nice watercolor process and flip through. I have to tell you, this is something I came up with uh, because I've noticed lately when I have a little bit of hand on, uh, time on my hands uh, and especially when I'm watching something, I cannot just sit without doing nothing. So I always try to find some things to do. And what happened is I created some art journals uh, which are available in my shop. They kind of sold out almost. There is still some left, but they sold out in two days time actually. And I had some um, pieces of paper, like scrap paper, uh, from cutting the paper to the proper size to fit the art journal. And those are the uh, pieces of paper, as you can see. And so I was thinking I'm gonna just maybe do some um, watercoloring and uh, try to play a little bit with my uh, watercolors, which I created uh, all by myself from other watercolors I had at home. And there is a video about that, so you can check that out. I'm gonna try to give you in the description uh, link below, in the description box below. And so that's what I did. I just put a little bit of paint on the paper and I just start doodling. I was doodling, rather painting than doodling. I was thinking I'm gonna maybe make some kind of a bookmarks. And suddenly when I started doing that, I realized that I see scenery and I see winter landscapes or um, other kind of landscapes. But usually what I see here, because I have very like earthy tones and I use a lot of uh, brown and blue, uh, I, to my eyes anyway, I see really nice uh, landscapes and it helps a lot that the papers are so long, thin and so long. So it kind of gives me this beautiful panorama, like, you know, in the, um, in the camera mode, when you can do the panorama, I think it's called. For me, it's just something which I absolutely love now. And I started a few days ago and I cannot stop. And it, it's calming me so much. Uh, there are some things which I'm not managing. Uh, there are some uh, pieces of paper which uh, I don't like. I created them I don't like so much, uh, but there are other ones which are just uh, like I'm completely in love with. And guys, it's so simple. Basically, you add just water on the paper. This is not even watercolor paper, it's mixed media paper. You add a little bit of water on the paper, then you add a little bit of paint. I use um, a thin brush. It's not specially good brush, it's just the brush I, I had I hand, at hand. And uh, I'm just adding color. And I'm trying to make this long landscape. And when I add a color, I try to put it mm, kind of not completely all over the place. I try to leave some white borders, uneven borders. But then uh, when the paint or the water is a little bit more dry, I use uh, a little bit uh, more paint. I put a little bit of paint on the brush and I drew the lines or the small um, like clusters of paint, which later um, in my eyes, they look either like a trees or like some greenery somewhere or some kind of hills or wherever, wherever your imagination tells you. And I'm telling you guys, it's so, so cool. Uh, first of all, it makes me um, improve a little bit with watercoloring. I kind of get the idea, you know, which uh, type of brush use, uh, how long I have to wait until the water is dry, uh, if I have to use some kind of a cloth or tissue to dab the excess of the water, things like that, the small things, but they actually help a lot to overcome the fear of watercolors which I still have because I am not a watercolor artist at all, even though I would like to be so much. And then, you know, uh, with the simple strokes of brush, you can make a really, really nice looking uh, scenery. And later you're gonna see, I'm also gonna be using for some of the papers, for some of the landscapes, a fine liner, blind, a black fine, line, a fine liner. Uh, but I'm not gonna be using that fine uh, fine liner on every single piece because some of them I just like, you know, uh, as they are. 
and uh, some of them I'm trying to make a little bit uh, more of details like on this one with the brush. So as you can see here, I am just trying to do a, um, trees and uh, you know, they are like trees like in the forest, um, like a, a Christmas trees, <laughs> I forgot the name in uh, English. So basically you do the uh, vertical line and then a few uh, like loop sided horizontal lines as you see right now, you don't have to do it very precisely. Um, you just have to, uh, the lines have to be a little bit visible and that gives such a nice effect because uh, you can see that they are, some of them are far in the distance, some of them are a little bit uh, closer. As you can see on the left hand side, I didn't manage quite well because simply uh, the paper was too wet and the paint was uh, running uh, around and didn't want to make the shapes of the trees and then uh, I am dubbing the excess if I see that it doesn't work uh, very well and the paper is too wet I'm dubbing the excess of water with the uh, tissue and I'm continuing and adding a little bit of you know like small details but really small details because that's the thing also I'm not very good at drawing I'm trying to learn but I <laughs> I really don't have time to, to you know to really uh, sit down and learn so this is my way so I am watching um, Psych. <laughs> it's a show like, you know, I'm re-watching re it. Um, I love the shows which are funny. I am a big fan of Friends and uh, right now I'm watching Psych actually. Uh, when I have a little bit time of my hands, it's very rarely and it usually happens when I do something. I just put the uh, TV show in the background. Uh, when my children are not beside me or my husband, I just watch like that and so you know that is calming me a lot because i've noticed i cannot uh, just sit and do nothing uh, which is not great but uh, i've been working so hard lately that for the past few years uh, with the shop i have and uh, with the projects i'm doing and uh, youtube uh, that uh, i just got uh, used to you know having things all the time to do and so uh, Yes, I couldn't even sit quietly and watch something. I had to do something. But at least this really calms me down. And I think it's a great thing to do uh, for yourself if you are not very comfortable with, um, how do you call it, with the watercoloring. You can just do it like that. You can just do a little bit of uh, scribbles, a little bit of doodling, uh, or just leave it, you know, and just look um, how the paint is reacting with water and leave it like that. And later try to find out um, in it some kind of shapes, you know, and uh, either uh, work with the shapes or just leave it like that. So this is basically what I'm doing. It's really not the rocket science. Look at, at that, guys. I'm just adding a little bit of spots, a little bit of lines. Sometimes I'm really happy with the effect. Sometimes I'm just, you know, thinking, oh, it's okay. And sometimes I really don't like it, but that's the thing also. I'm learning how to manage the brush and stuff like that. As you can see, this brush actually got a little bit um, bad because it's kind of dividing into two. So I got double lines here and um, I really love the way the watercolors react with water and what's happening on the page and as I mentioned this is not even watercolor paper it's mixed media paper so it's really funny also uh, to look at uh, the effect uh, you're gonna get on the paper on the different types of paper this is one of my favorite sceneries I have to tell you I kind of see uh, here um, a lake with maybe a small I don't know, islands on it or whatever, like uh, water reflects and then in the background a little bit of uh, trees mm, on the left hand side, a little bit uh, the trees which are a little bit closer to me and then in the middle and on the right hand side the trees which are far, far, far away and it's kind of like, I don't know, I see, I see really like winter, winter landscape here. I'm wondering if you see that or it's just completely me and my uh, my mind but I hope you can see it and I hope this is something you can also try you know and maybe it will relax you maybe will give you a little bit of uh, different ideas also and uh, you know and help you to to work with your watercolors and uh, just create something and <laughs> 
when I, as I mentioned, when I created that, I was thinking I'm going to do the bookmarks. And uh, I made so many of it. And I said to myself, this is, doesn't look like bookmarks that much. I like very colorful bookmarks, a little bit maybe bigger. Uh, and uh, this looked more like uh, like a really like a collection of uh, sceneries. And I decided that I'm gonna make a very funny looking, very weird looking art journal, because why not? I mean, uh, the art journal doesn't have to be uh, A5 or A4 uh, size or like any standard size, like, uh, you know, uh, it could be also like that. And I find um, lately that I have more inspiration with a different uh, type of, you know, different formats of paper. And uh, I like to work on, on funny, uh, like uh, unusual almost uh, type of paper. Uh, types of paper or rather formats because you know, the types it's usually a watercolor mixed media but the formats I think the weirder the better <laughs> so you know uh, lately I'm working a lot with small Zine books so it's tiny tiny books and now this format is really cool for me and I am also happy because I didn't throw to the bin the scrap papers and the paper cost a lot and also you know the trees are dying and all of that so for me it's important to not to throw it and if i can just you know work on my skills and make a art journal out of that at some point why not and as you can see i am not really great with watercolors and for some of you who uh, know how to work very well with watercolors you are probably just uh, holding your head and screaming no don't do that what are you doing but <laughs> i don't really care i mean i wish i would be a good watercolor artist i'm not but that's the thing also i I cannot do only uh, things and projects which have to be perfect. I'm not like that. I want to actually do uh, projects uh, um, which brings me a joy and brings me uh, like peace of mind, you know. It's very important, especially that I really do work very hard lately and uh, I cannot find a moment to re really calm down and this is it. So, you know, I didn't have to do it for any DT project or anything like that. I just did it for myself. And these ones I'm doing right now are the ones which I wanted to show you because I've made small shorts on the YouTube already with the finished projects. But these ones I wanted to show you how easy it is, how effortless and how imperfect also, because it's, let's be honest, it's very imperfect. And um, I'm gonna also show you how I put them into a art journal, into a very, very funny art journal. And so uh, I'm doing a few of them, a few of the papers just for you right now. I did it today for the camera. So for the camera, when I'm doing projects, it's always a little bit stressful. I have to think uh, that, you know, everything is in the camera. And as you can see how my page is off the camera. And uh, this is always so annoying. Uh, I know for you even more probably than for me but that's what's happened so this one was a little bit of stress like but then you're gonna see uh, i have a few more of those uh, landscapes which i've done beforehand which i've done uh, actually when i was watching and uh, when i was watching tv show and so uh, yes they are uh, there is many many more <laughs> and some of them are really nice so uh, these ones are the ones i've created today at the end, I'm going to show you the whole flip through. So I'm going through them very quickly right now. So those are just the ones created for you. And this one, the last one, is not very perfect. Uh, or well, not very perfect. It's very imperfect, actually. And uh, the colors are uh, quite um, uh, dull, almost. So that's why I decided to add uh, some accents with fine line there. And I'm using Unipin and I'm using um, the one um, zero one. So it's quite a fine tip. So it doesn't have a big, uh, you know, it doesn't make a big lines, big heavy lines. And it's perfect for this type of, um, for this type of uh, doodling on watercolor paper. And so what I'm trying to do is just, you know, when I see a little bit of cluster of paint, I'm trying to add a little bit of trees and stuff like that. And sometimes on some of the bookmarks, I was trying to be very 
uh, what do you call it, very realistic. Some of them are a little bit like a cartoonish, like this one, for example, because as you can see the trees on the left hand side, they are kind of cartoonish. They are uh, almost not very, not very visible, but they are there. So this is just the idea. I haven't done the fine lining on all of the uh, pages, but I've done on some of them. Some of them I just wanted to leave the way they were. And because the paper comes from the block of paper, as you can see, I had a small uh, pieces of glue which was still attached to the paper, so I trimmed it with the scissors. So once again, here are the ones I've done today and now I'm going to show you uh, the ones I've done in the last week or so. I think it was not even one week, it was just a few days and there is uh, a lot of them and I decided to put them into, uh, to make out of them a kind of a art journal because I thought it's going to be funny, it's going to look nice and uh, unusual. And uh, I didn't... Uh, I don't know, I didn't overthink too much <laughs> making of the art journal. I add a tiny bit of, um, uh, how do you call it, the paper, which is, um, uh, I forgot, the sticker paper uh, to the sides and I glue everything together. Uh, kind of um, the same way as I've done my loose pages uh, as a, uh, into art journals. So that you can see also in my latest uh, art journal flip throughs uh, because this is the uh, technique I've done already. And then I decided to add a little bit of black borders. But as I said, the, um, the cover is done very quickly. It's just done for me. Basically, uh, it's not perfect. So that's why I didn't spend too much time to show you guys how to do it. Uh, I just did it really quite quickly because as you can see also the, per the pages uh, are imperfect. They are actually some of them uh, a little bit, um, you know, uh, smaller than the others. The, the size is not uh, exactly the same. So I really didn't take too much, didn't put too much attention to it. I just wanted to have a nice cover and I wanted the pages to be, uh, you know, to be holding together and, and that's it. Uh, I don't do perfect uh, art. I do admit that always and uh, you know I'm, I'm not a real artist but I love what I do sometimes. <laughs> this is one of the things I really do love and for me the fact that I can really breathe and I can it can give me this uh, peace of mind. This is this is the most important thing to me. So I added a little bit of doodling on the cover. I was not sure what to do. Uh, with the cover so it's just simple thing just so it makes uh, a little bit of sense maybe I'll add something with more at some point but no I don't think so I think I'm gonna leave it like it is because I like it as it is and this is my very 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 first very imperfect landscape or scenery art watercolor art journal and I hope you uh, really like it uh, that's gonna be all. I'm gonna just do a small flip through for you guys through all these pages. As you can see, they are they are imperfect, mm, but uh, that's the thing. That's what I love. Some of them are really cute. Uh, I love this one as well. This one I didn't add any uh, special accents either with a brush or with a fine liner. I just left it as they are. This I did a lot of. Uh, accents. I don't like the perspective is not there. It's imperfect. The only thing I like is the small two trees on the right hand side. Uh, but I love the coloring. So, you know, I left it like that. Here we have a forest. And I don't know, it's tsunami in the background. <laughs> I have no idea. But that's the thing also. Uh, you know, you can leave everything to your imagination. This one, I think I have to work on this one. It's not finished. I probably will add some uh, fine liner accents, but we'll see. A little bit of grass on the river or on the side of the river. I'm actually uh, curious if you like it, if you like the idea, if you would like to try it also. Uh, if you think this is a good thing to do, uh, you know, to deal with your scrap papers. And also, if you have a preference, if it comes to one of the uh, scenery I made, one of the landscapes, uh, if you like um, uh, some of them more than the others, 
So you can leave me a comment. I'll be very happy to read them because I'm really, I've never seen an art journal like that in the, uh, not this form, not this size, um, not the landscape form like this one. Uh, I haven't seen it. So I'm wondering if maybe you've done already something similar or whatever. It's just uh, all the comments uh, you're gonna leave me. I'll be very happy to read to find out what do you think uh, because I really do enjoy that. I don't know why. Um, I rarely um, say that about my work, but uh, there are some things which I like more than the others. And in, as I said, there is a lot of imperfections in this journal. This page is not perfect also, but you know, it's something, just the fact that the, uh, the paints are reacting so nicely with water and you actually don't have to even use the fine liner to add any more details. You just kind of go and you think about these scen sceneries and I just I just have them in my head and I just I love nature so much and for me it's just giving me a little bit of like a, you know um, I don't know a little bit of calm I think okay guys I'm talking I cannot stop talking <laughs> it seems I was thinking I'm gonna leave you like watching quietly and it seems I cannot anymore so uh, Yes, I'm waiting for your comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I wish you a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm gonna leave you some pictures at the end of the uh, of this video. Please let me know if there is uh, if that's something you like. Uh, what are the favorite um, sceneries for you? And what do you think I should maybe do with them or add to them? Uh, as always, thank you so much for subscribing. I'm trying always to bring you some new things, new techniques, new ideas, and I hope you appreciate that. Uh, and of course, please check out my shop. I'm gonna have very soon new DG files for uh, Halloween mostly. Uh, focal points, because you've asked me a lot about uh, the focal points I use uh, lately. So I'm gonna have something similar for you guys. So check that out. I hope I'm gonna manage uh, at least this week or this weekend, but um, there are gonna be a DG files in the shop soon. And so that's it from me. Sending you big, big hugs. I wish you a very nice, very creative, uh, very uh, sunny day. And I'm gonna see you, I hope, soon in my next video. Bye bye.